Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's February. It's actually Tuesday, February the 12th, and um, we'll do our chart lesson for the day. This is a really strong trend, and it doesn't look like it. It can be very deceiving, but when you start to get all these little bitty bars, notice how we have stems all over the place, lots of dojis, and it just keeps working higher and higher and higher. Um, that's a strong trend. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And um, you don't get a lot of great entries. You just have to, you know, if you if you get a setup, you just about have to take it because if you don't, it's just going to keep going without you. Sometimes you will get corrections within the within the move. And what you really have here is you spike up and you go into a channel. And earlier we had this flatter channel. And then it, it's really too steep, and so it narrowed, it flattened out a little more. It's, this is still much steeper than a, what you would like. You really want a 45 degree, which just runs from corner to corner. And you can see we're still running really steep here. Um, but that's what we had today. It was a strong market. There was some, there was some uh, a speaker with F, uh, the chairman of the FOMC board. Uh, was speaking and so I think that was around 11:45. so I don't know if that's what triggered this next little move up here but we went up it didn't take long to take it back which is generally what happens during a news item and then we just we really just went kind of sideways to slightly down this whole afternoon so and the other thing was you really had to be patient this morning there weren't a lot of trades I mean it started off really slow and flat here um what I would have done was when we spiked up, I would have measured this first leg off the spike, which is right here. And then this is your bigger correction. So that's probably going to be the midpoint of this pattern. And you see that would have given you a target of here. And we actually reached that right here. We had a, a equal distance. And then we, we actually pushed above that a little bit before we came back down and really closed right at that target and again this might have been because of something I don't we don't really care about that all we want to do is know when there's important news coming out and be aware of it just in case so we don't get you know so we don't get caught up in some crazy move volatile move because of the news item that came out and surprised everybody uh, generally the speakers speaking you know unless they leak something that surprises the market it doesn't really usually have an effect. So I don't know if that's what caused this little jump up. But it didn't really matter because it was all uphill. And, this, and other than this correction right here, you wanted to be looking for longs. And I wouldn't short this market. So I don't really see any shorts. Even though there's a failed second entry long right there, this market's still way too strong. And I'd probably stay away from that any shorts at all especially once it starts higher again here until you start getting a confirmed trend that's a pretty good trend to the downside and this just looks like a correction it's more sideways really than it's down i've got it drawn both ways but i really think this is just sideways and then we kind of fell a little lower here but you can see it working down that trend line too it does have a little bit of a trend to it so just be aware of that but i'm going to back out and uh, talk about the trades get a little further out here where you can see them a little better but this is a sign of a strong market. When you see it, look at these bars, how there's stems on every side, but they just keep going higher and higher and higher. And you might get a little sideways. You don't get any real big corrections usually, and it just keeps going higher and higher and higher. And then it might work sideways a little bit, and then it's higher, higher, sideways. And then we finally got a little bit of, actually we had a little bit of a correction right here. But this is more sideways and a little failure out the bottom. And that just tells you the market's still real strong. And you just have to, and you don't get a lot of pull, any big corrections to actually get in. So if you get a pullback, you just about, to a key entry point, you just about have to take it. Otherwise, you won't get many trades, and there weren't many this morning at all. You had to be real patient. Uh, 7 o'clock came right in here. I think we were working right down through here somewhere, and, you, and you're just working sideways. And unfortunately, when you finally get to the key entry point, you know, this, you can see this little sideways channel there. I've got it marked the highs and the lows. And, you know, there's a couple of short, decent looking shorts there, but there's no longs. Uh, I finally marked one here green. Um, 
And the reason I like that one is because we kind of pushed through and pulled back and tested it and then went higher. So if it broke higher above this bar that clo closed on the support side rather than on the resistance side, it's a little two bar matching high. So that's like a little pullback. Um, it's, it's not a great entry, but it, you know, we, we just came off the key entry point without a good entry and it looks like we're probably going to go higher and you just don't always get good bars when it's like this. So needless to say, I, I like, if you want to be aggressive, I like going long right there. Um, it's not a great setup, but it's the first one I saw that I would even consider at this point. Um, and notice that you've got uh, a new low right here. So you got a first entry and then you move up and there's a second entry short right there and there's a lower high. And again, it's off that short term key entry point. And th by this time you can see this looks like one of those strong trends. And again, if you're not used to seeing them, this doesn't look, I mean, with all these stems on both sides and dojis, it doesn't look like a strong trend, but it is. And go back and study some charts whenever you start to see pri you know, price bars that look like this. This is a strong trend. And so uh, on this little pullback to this key entry point right here, um, I kind of like that trade with the lower high and all. Uh, you got plenty of room before you're back up here to this. Actually, I wasn't sure if this was up here. And maybe it is up here and there's a midline in there but i had moved it back down because it tend to fit better there so that's where i left it it doesn't really come into play much so it doesn't really matter where you had it uh to be honest so uh, but that turns out to be a pretty good little trade it just keeps going higher if you'd taken that one trade and kept a runner you'd have still been going it would have actually come back eventually in here and took you out but you could have ridden this all the way until it touched the upper side or at least until it got a break here and made a new high and in the first bar that broke lower that's probably how i'd play that because on a day like this if if you can catch a runner uh, you might get a, you can you know you can get some you get a lot of points out of them so and with very little risk of it coming back because it moves like right here if you could get in somewhere in here it it moves really quickly um especially off these key entry points like right here. And the way I got this trend line was I drew it off this highs and I drug it down here. But when it started going lower, I moved it in equal distance. And it turns out it, this looks like a midline in the end. So that's how I got that. But anyway, um, we're coming across. This was like a little double test here. We made this low. We came back once. We came back twice. And this is actually a second entry long. There's a high there, there's a first entry, and you drop down, there's a second entry. And you actually went into a little bit tighter congestion right here. With those bars, that's like a little failed break lower. And it's off the EMA as well. And notice that low. And then you try to come lower once, twice. So it's like a little double test. And that's a nice little bullish bar. Um, the reason it's green is just simply because it's not back to the trend line. And we have come off the high side. But on a strong trend, uh, with it coming off the EMA and that little double test and the fact that you got a little congestion here and a little failed break lower, if you've got enough room, you might to get out before these highs. I'd, I'd probably make it blue, but since since it's really tight, I just went ahead and made it green because it's a little bit aggressive. And then we start working back down to the key entry point again, and you get a little, this is a really small bar. I think it's only three ticks. And it's a first entry because well, actually, because you make a new high here is the reason. Notice you got a high there, first entry. So there's a second entry right in here, but there's not a very good signal bar. You're still kind of going sideways. But this is a failed break lower out of this little range. Uh, it's a bounce really right at the key entry point. And it's a really small bar really low risk so it's 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 worth trying to see if you catch a move back up here you, you only get a scalp out of this and it keeps because it keeps working lower but i still like that one just simply because it's this is a strong trend and it's at that key entry point and it's a little failed break lower and you know all the other reasons i just talked about it's real tempting to go short especially here because 
or actually right here because notice you got a new high and you try to go higher once then twice that's a failed second entry long and this bar probably should have been back down here by now so if you got enough room to go short right there you might consider that trade i didn't mark it i really don't think you want to take any shorts on a trend day like this but that's an obvious trend working lower and once you get an obvious trend working lower you, you know you can't ignore it so that's a possibility I will mark it green because I'm sure somebody's going to ask about it so I did want to at least mention it um, there's another lower high here and we're making lower lows and lower highs but you could almost argue that we had a close out here it's not real convincing and we would have had a new low in place but uh, we dropped lower and pulled back and notice how everything's below the EMA and it's just a first entry though but you may not get a second entry on a you know it's not a real big trend channel so uh, and again that one's probably only three bars as well so maybe that one as well I'll at least make it green but I'd, I'd again I'd probably just stick to trying to find longs if this bar would have been a little further away from the EMA I would have liked maybe going long here but it's not and you don't have a lot of room back there but this thing just takes off and you don't really get a you, you do get a little double bar matching high here um, and it looks like it probably would have broke through this resistance line and pulled back and tested it right there but I still don't think it's not back to the key entry point it doesn't come back to, to, the, to the key entry point till right here and we're really back at the trend line and notice how it pushes through and it kind of pulls back but with those three bar matching highs when it broke lower if it breaks above there it's probably going to continue up that little trend line and it may come all the way back up to here and so you may risk that one it's risky we're, we're a little bit away from the EMA but this has been a strong trend and I showed you that me that first leg up and then this is your this is usually the center of a pattern so you might and notice who who could catch a runner how you catch a runner on this how, how would you catch a runner on this next leg you got to be one of the aggressive guys entering early down here because once you get the first couple of setups here notice that they keep coming back and getting the runners before it goes higher so you, you've got to be sometimes if you want to be catch a runner you got to be a little aggressive and if you'd have entered here it would have never checked up uh, but it's a little risky entering there. We do have a break and a new low and you could consider that a, fa a break out of this little channel and all that but it's still a fairly aggressive trade so I think you're better off just to to not take it. It's, uh, you know you need a higher low and that doesn't come to way up here. You could consider this one right here again as I talked about a minute ago because you got the two bar matching high and it's similar to the one back down here as well. Notice how it closes on the other side. So, I mean, it, it's a possibility, but it didn't quite get back to that trend line until here. So that's the reason I marked that one. Again, you got three matching highs there. So if it pushes through there, it's probably going to jump up real quick. And there's another little pullback here, but that bar is too neutral. And then we finally correct and come back. Notice, notice how we push back through this trend line and it comes back and test it. Prices almost always come back and test important breakout areas. That's really what was happening right here. Notice how when we broke through here, we didn't come back pretty quickly and test it. Well, that's what they were trying to do here, come back and test this. And, um, and generally that may be the center of the pattern too because you get a bigger correction. And so right here we never came back to test this either. And that's what they were trying to do in here but it just keeps going higher so anyway um, you pull back and you, you come back and you test that trend line and it holds just like it was originally and that's the first break of this trend line so we are probably gonna try to make a new high so I like going long right there you're working up you make a new high you come back first entry you pull back you get a second entry with a little small bar and there's some support right there right at the EMA um, I like going long there again it's just good for a scalp and then it comes back but now you got a double test you made this these lows right here you test it once you test it twice 
and you could really look at that like a second entry long as well because this is basically a double top so a first entry second entry and either way you got room to get out before here so off it goes this turns out to be a pretty good trade before it turns back down again and that's when I drew this off those highs and drug it back down to here but when we came on through there I just got an equal distance and copied that line and got an equal distance and moved it to that equal distance but then you're working back down notice you get a close outside move to a new low and you actually get a little failed break below this and this is actually a second entry long too notice this high and you pull you're coming back first entry and you got another leg down that's a second entry long uh, it's a failed break out of this little trading range lower so uh, the odds are that we traded up into this so we're probably going to succeed going higher out of this and we take off we come back get the break even stops here though uh, this is a higher low and it does bounce where you expect it to on the equal distance and that's a big bar but there's not much room back to here not much even to the EMA and notice how it went to the EMA and then turns back down then it runs up to the to the previous resistance and tries to turn back down again it ends up going higher but that's what usually happens and it a lot of times it doesn't end up going higher and you get you get stopped out and you get burned because you're you know you just don't go long right into resistance like that we did push through here so there's a chance they've already cleared all that out and it may jump right on through but you can see right here that EMA created resistance and then when we pushed up to the uh, trend channel or uh, that range across there and it hit that resistance and it tried to back up again but the trend line's holding so we finally push on through pull back test it and it actually uh, I don't know if this thing went higher or lower first so it's hard to tell but if it especially if it went lower and then turned up but either way you still got a correction you might have waited on this bar to close and let this bar break higher and drop a limit order back one tick above this bar and play it like that so you still get the same entry and all and uh, or you really could have just went long above that bar it's not a great signal bar but it's that little pattern again that little repeat pattern right here where was the other one right here so and off it goes I did make it green just simply because it's not a part a really great setup but if you saw all the stuff I just talked about it's hard to pass it up then we run up and you get a you make a new high pull back first entry pull back second entry and this does break lower it doesn't break out the other side but if it goes higher right there I I might consider going because we're going to try to make a new high and we should be hit, trying to head up here um, I did mark it green it's not a great setup but something to consider but then we come back pull back and you get a first entry you get a second leg back so that's a second entry long fairly bullish bar and notice you made that low you test it once you test it twice it's a double test second entry long it's at the midline it's at the uh, EMA uh, we haven't quite gotten to the high yet so there's a good chance we shoot on off again and this is that strong trend and you're just looking for reasons to try to get in it and another easy scalp although you don't get anything more than that and that kind of gets you into the two o'clock hour there is one other thing to consider here notice those lows and you come down and test it once you try to go higher you pull back test it twice and then get that really bullish bar um, and you could play that like a second entry because there's a new swing high um, so that one was tempting but the problem is you got one two three four five bars stacked up and that's too close to being a doji so um, I think you probably want to skip that trade especially when this had moved back down to at least there probably there's still enough room to get out there just barely so you may you know you may consider that when I'll mark it green it's just not a great setup and of course that got you in the two o'clock hour so uh, the trading in the afternoon wasn't too bad uh, again you had all these um, 
you had you know you have this strong trend and you knew where the middle of the pattern was in here and you're looking for a measured move so once you got to here uh, of course you got there early I mean it was still 11 o'clock or so when we got there but it's still a strong trend and there's no reason to give up on it as long as you can find a trend line that's still holding and uh, this this little two-tiered one up here late in the afternoon the darker one was a little bit harder to find and again, most of the action was kind of sideways, but the bias was up. So you're looking to buy these lows. Same thing here. You're looking to buy the lows. So he knows there's not any selling going on here. I marked these couple here, but it was more obvious that we had a little down channel or trend channel going right there. And you couldn't argue with that. So that's a little bit different at that point. But I don't see any trend that got strong enough up here. Uh, it's mostly just sideways stuff. You had a little bit of a trend down here, but this is just mostly sideways again. And then we start creeping up that bigger trend line, confirming it. Again, this is all after 2 o'clock, so I didn't mark anything. That would have been a nice trade right there, probably. Second entry long, creeping up that trend line. It's not too far after 2 o'clock, so we might mark it if you were still trading and wanted to take up one just in the first few minutes of two o'clock that one would probably be one you might take so but anyway that's what i saw today and uh again it was real slow this morning and hard to find any a lot of good entries here um really just after 8 30 till almost 9 45 it was almost sideways but again, when you start to see these little bars stacking up, lots of stems on both sides, lots of dojis, no really big bars or anything. When you start to see that, that's a strong trend. So uh, just remember that and stay with it. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, we'll be back again to do it tomorrow. I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.